dive into it is you can create a housing vending machine if you do this one particular thing and that is to put your systems in place you got to put your systems in place let's talk about a vending machine that looks like a gumball machine you can show your product what you're selling to your customers your customers comes over and takes care of all the financial matters okay and the customer dispenses your product and takes it and they're happy all this time you are nice and relaxed that's the goal you should be nice and relaxed during these first three steps you get involved when it's time to count your money and to restock now let's apply that same mindset to housing how do you create a housing vending machine is you have to show off what you're selling it'd be best to use be a really nice professional photos and not camera phone photos airbnb and all these other online travel agencies accept payments so you're nice and relaxed and there's all kinds of ways of letting your guests get in there's bluetooth locks there's leaving the key under the under the mat and the wi-fi locks all kinds of systems and this is what most hosts get right most people do short-term rentals they get this right but then they stop they don't put any more systems in place so when the the, the guest needs a plunger they have to call the host and when they're looking for a reference on what restaurant to go they have to call the host there's no guest manuals there's no systems and they keep getting needled with questions and that's what agitates a lot of hosts because they don't have their systems in place <laughs> so that's the biggest problem that's why people burn out in a couple of years because of the lack of systems good hosts get involved when it's time to train their cleaning staff and make sure that they know how to stage the property for the next guest and then your cleaning staff should take over so that's the job is to checking your cleaning staff that's what the owner should be doing all right here's a, here's a case study this is jay martin jay is uh i met him he's 31 he was a banker and he wore shiny shoes and a tie and he hated his job he just could not wait to get to get out of it he was trying to find a better way of, of doing it he wanted to travel the world and he started doing short-term rentals and they weren't going too well he's working in richmond california and he reached out to me and he said al you know i want to travel the world i want to wear flip-flops every day and i want my short-term rentals to to do that for me to fund my travels and I wasn't ready to share anything at the time. I wasn't ready to share all my experiments, but he was just so laser focused on what he wanted that I said, okay, Jay, let's do this. And I looked over his operation and I got back to him. I said, Jay, you know, you really need to add a, some bicycles to your operation because help people get from that, that listing that you have, your apartment to the local BART station, which is the, the train that takes people into san francisco and he thought that was a crazy idea but he did it and he ended up making a big deal about his bicycles and nice showing them off in different photos and different places that you could go on the bicycles and people started booking his place just for those hundred dollar bicycles <laughs> he said that that added five hundred dollars a month of net income to his bottom line having those bicycles so I remember he called me back. He said, Al, thank you so much, but that's not good enough. I need to earn a lot more if I'm going to travel the world. So I said, Jay, all right, I'm going to give you my most profitable secret. And this was at the time. It's not my most profitable secret anymore, but at the time, I said, okay, let's have you focus on serving traveling nurses because they stay in town for three to six months. And that's what you need to do. You need to do these longer stays to maximize your net income. And he didn't think he could do it. He thought his neighborhood was too rough and that the media was still advertising the terrible thing that happened in 2009. There was a, a high school homecoming gang rape uh, um, event that happened. And that's what his town was known for. He didn't think he could attract nurses and i told him jade there's three extended stays in richmond three extended stay america hotels and that means that you can do it there's people that's where they're staying 
And we went round and around pro probably two months. And he finally allowed me to do it, optimize his listing, help him out with that. And that did the trick. Now Jay is traveling the world. He's been traveling for the last two years. This is him in Thailand. Let's see if I can get this to play for us. Oh, he was launching Lanterns. And he's been to Singapore. He's been to India, Philippines. He just came back from the Philippines. I saw him earlier last week. And Japan and all over. He just stays gone now. And he has about 21 of these housing vending machines working for him. And he's got all his systems in place, his teams in place as well. And Jay says uh, he would have made another $100,000 and retired a year or two earlier if he would listen to Al. And my advice was him to, was to go for longer stays, which maximizes your net income and put your systems in place so that you're not constantly bothered by the guests. The guests will be more happy and you'll be more happy. Plan it out. So raise your hand if that was good for you.